Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. We have a brand new update coming to AEW Fight Forever. I'm over on Xbox right now, but if you're on PlayStation, make sure you highlight the tab like I'm doing right now. Check for updates by pressing the start button and scrolling down to the check for updates. Here on Xbox, it's a little different. You got to manage updates. And that's going to be in your manage section where you got the queue, the storage, free up space and updates. You're going to click on updates and you're going to click update all just in case you have other apps that need to get updated. That's how you set up the download. Then let's check the queue. We're looking at 3.5 gigabytes. Well, 3.55 gigabytes over on Xbox. Make sure you download it on Nintendo Switch as well and PC which it has become available across all platforms. This is update 1.07. In this update, there's a lot to go over and we're gonna break it down in this video. But first things first, subscribe to the channel for all things wrestling, man. We don't just play AEW. We do tons and tons of wrestling videos, gaming videos, reviews, watch parties and more so as you see i do have wwe 2k19 downloaded i've been doing a lot of universe mode on that game lately we got more streams coming for that as well so stay tuned all right now that that's over we got the update rolling out now this update is going to set up season two which they're going to be announcing real soon we don't have more uh information uh, on the release date just yet but we're gonna have to stay tuned uh, with AEW games, AEW, and the general sources that are directly from the game. Not any other YouTuber like myself or anyone else across social media. No one has an inside scoop but them. That's how they're playing it. So let's head on over to the update information. They did release today uh, this uh, tweet. Some major updates on the way. Patch 1.07 includes new call customizations, multiplayer balancing, and dozens of fixes. I'm really excited, man. They're teasing some big updates here, and I can't wait to see what they got. This game was really fun at first. It died out really quick because we needed these updates to come a little sooner, but good things come to those who wait. So there it is, another tease. They got a new arena, it seems like, with this one with the Trons in the back. And we got the smoke showing a created character, I believe. Yo, listen! All right, so let's get into the, the, the thickness of this update. All right, we're going to read down some of the notes that they published today, November 1st. These are the patch notes for 1.07 in AEW Fight Forever. Season 2 will be announced in due time via official channels from THQ and AEW. So all platforms added new features, added release teams. Wait. Oh, added a new feature, add release teams. So you you, you could... I don't, I don't know what that means exactly, but it says to the custom menu. If the player has purchased the AEW Fight Forever FTR revival pack, FTR can be added as a tag team. Ah, uh, oh, remember what happened when that first came out you had to add it as a tag team yourself i remember now okay okay makes sense i was like wait add released teams i'm like what does that even mean added a menu to customize materials for car parts added shadow wrestler skins from rte to car added character hud settings to options menu mini games are now unlocked from the start excluding dlc mini games also oh, they're not locked away anymore Adjusted various skills for improved character balancing and playability, which, you know, the, the balancing is something that's going to continue to get tweaked going forward as they get more and more feedback through time. And, you know, the longer we wait to jump back in or for those that are trying to jump in, period, the better this game will be. I'm telling you, this game is going to evolve and be really, really good. The foundation of this game is really, really good. Fix an issue where the selected wrestler changed when randomly selecting triangle Y button in the, in the wrestler selection screen, then pressing R3 or RS to select all. Fix an issue that caused the next wrestler to be displayed incorrectly when selecting a wrestler from the team tab. Fix an issue that would cause the ladder to fall suddenly when knocked down while climbing a ladder. Yeah, that was annoying as hell. 
fixed guardrail diving attack near steel stairs, causing the attacker to float after coming in contact with the steel stairs during synchronization. Fixed warping when grappling an apron opponent. Fixed into the steel uh, into the steel stairs when launching an apron move near the steel stairs. Oh, falling into the steel stairs. L like, there's just so many. Look, clipping on the steel stairs when activating the apron attack near the... Like, just so many things have been fixed here that were glitching and ruining the experience overall and happened from time to time. So this is all music to my ears. Another issue where wrestlers would not turn around and face the target outside of the ring after entering the ring. Fix an issue where the down and anim uh, pain animation sometimes did not occur. Fix an issue where two wrestlers when standing face to face around a grounded wrestler would both attempt to jump over the grounded wrestler at the same time. Another fix where the uh, number of tag match wins per wrestler was not being displayed correctly in entrance and victory scenes. Fix an issue where the AI would repeat combos even when no blows hit. Fix an issue that allowed wrestlers to get inside the ladder. Fix an issue that caused ducking animation to clip onto the ring. Fix an issue where running counters reach was being triggered when the opponent had finished running. Uh, fix an issue in the free action time after tagging if the partner who was just tagged out guarded and remain guarding when that time expired then that wrestler would remain stuck in the guard state so a lot of notable things here that were just you know plaguing the game all around even casino royale where the indicator would show color before the ai rings in fix an issue after removing dlc entitlement dlc moves assigned to a wrestler uh Oh, to a roster wrestler would revert to a custom wrestler moves. So a lot of things being tweaked here. So many cool things to see that have finally got solved. Uh, to enter. Oh, okay. Fix an issue that allowed wrestlers to be able to enter inside a standing ladder. Another one that caused indicators to be displayed in victory scenes. Issues where the AI entrance could not be skipped by pressing the uh, square or X button at the start of the match starting a match using the keyboard menu so that's more for like pc probably fix an issue that calls a down attack to be launched against a downed opponent in the ring even if the opponent was outside the ring ah issue where character was floating when performing kenny omega's running finisher an issue in casino battle royale where deactivating the app by pressing the window key, oh, okay. What window key during the tutorial would allow the wrestler to move freely outside the ring. So yeah, that's for more for PC. A lot of AI stuff got fixed. Let's skip a few here. There's just so many, but a lot of AI stuff, a lot of targeting things. Uh, man, this is just a massive, massive win for us that have been waiting, desperately waiting, might I add. Fixed damage areas being incorrect. Top so you see that moves would clip to apron. There are just so many fixes, so many wrestlers I got, you know, tweaked too with the balance. Fixed rope rebound during Darsh a heart attack. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. You could pause at any point in time and see for yourself. The link will be in the comment section and description box for you guys to read the the fixes for all the bugs and then they had additional fixes for the nintendo switch as well adjusted the overall ease of applying weapons in stadium stampede oh a lot of stadium stampede fixes for the switch uh where the screen would flash when equipping bombs where the game would crash when starting a session where a system error would appear on the winner's screen where unnecessary ui was displayed where the player list would be displayed slowly in game where processing would slow down due to multiple players using bombs at the same time on pc they fixed issues where the same username was not showing on all controllers when playing now you got stadium stampede as well 
where where Cartwright damage was only being taken out on the left side, where challenges would unlock after the session ends, where disconnection error would occur when starting a game. Also, the crashes when moving to lobby. PS4 and PS5 got stadium stampede fixes as well. Same ones. Xbox One 2 where the game would crash trying to start two sessions in a row where poor performance would occur when throwing a uh, throwing weapon towards oil puddles where shadows would appear on the stadium field marks when the camera was moving at 360 degrees bunny's hair movement got fixed in stadium stampede also for the series x as well so guys loads and loads of issues you saw me skip a few of them because there's a lot of bugs here where whether it was you know pointing in in the wrong direction or moves not hitting ai getting fixed crashes getting fixed so many bugs have been addressed if you guys have any other issues i suggest you hit up thq on their site fill out a form contact them so they have it listed also also you can reach out to them on twitter uh, this is a, a, a big deal guys a very big deal considering that season two is on its way based on what we're saying they're saying big things are coming so last time they announced something similar uh we obviously got stadium stampede so uh, uh patch notes for 1.7 are a must read if you haven't already again the link will be in the comment section for you to check out all the notes we have tons and tons of multiplayer uh issues solved here uh creation suite is getting updated too so i'm looking forward to seeing what's next in the aew fight forever universe i cannot wait i hope to see y'all there subscribe to the channel for more aew fight forever let's go